Hey guys, what's up? This is Sean talking. Welcome back to my channel. This time we'll be talking about Battle with Black Worm. This enemy here is amazing. It seems to be from Saga Scarlet Grace. This event is from Saga Scarlet Grace. We can even farm a character from there. This character here, the name is, let's see, Sasha. And she's pretty strong, actually. She can be used even when comparing her to some other premium styles. Yeah, at least the platinum ones, not the limited ones. But uh, still a very good options for farming. She is comparable to Muse, although maybe a little less damage output. But we can get her to level 50 easily just by running the event. But guys, this has to be my favorite event ever. Yes, because we can do many different things here. It has the highest status cap for story. Yeah, the highest. The same as the, the highest one from story. It also has a way to train your skills from turn 2 and beyond. Because of how it works. The boss has two weaknesses this time. It's okay. Uh, it's not so <laughs> hard to defeat as well. And it can be done with only three different styles. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, with three styles you can finish the stage fast. But before we discuss the characters, let's go to the boss first. Black Worm is weak against Blunt and Heat, only dead. And he comes with four minions, called Sakulina. And when you kill one of those Sakulinas, they will give you five VP and also increase the power of the boss. But because we want to farm very fast, we can finish the boss in two turns. That's the best way to do it. Uh, and by killing the Sakulinas on turn 1, we will refresh 20 BP, allowing us to attack on turn 2 with our best attacks, the costly attacks, some attacks with 13 or even more BP. And we can open with a strong attack, train that attack as well, and then train again a new skill that's costly. That is like the best moment to do that. So, I will be explaining the main characters that can be used and the supporters, starting with the main. Okay, this is the list of the best mains. There are some others, but those are probably the strongest ones. Let's check for Emilia first. Don't mind about the equipment, because this is just to show the different skills that you will be using. Emilia relies on having the two different styles of her, the two limited ones. She will go for Ricochet Parade first, this attack goes first because she has 10 VP on turn 1. And then on turn 2 she will go for Sweet Trap. That's the best way to do that because if you don't inherit Sweet Trap, she will try to use Ricochet Parade on turn 2. And the boss is alone, so you want single target damage on turn 2. So this is the best way to do it. If you have only this immediate, you can still use her, but she will not do so much damage on turn 2. And then uh, the other option is Rofus. And then you do this. Get Gun and Blade to 11, because he would just open with Submachine Gun, do insane damage against all the minions, and then on turn 2, after getting BP, he would attack with Gun and Blade. Then we have Red. Red is amazing, he goes as he is. Just bring him, he will use Punishing Combo, a very powerful AoE attack with B power, similar damage to a media, and then he also attacks with two Key Blasts, so it will help kill the other minions. And on turn 2, he just uses Punishing Combo again, using the Key Blast against the boss this time. Then we have Barthelemy. He just uses Abaddon Hands on turn 1, and on turn 2, the same thing. And actually, he's not the best one, because on turn 2, Abaddon Hands does not do so much damage against single target. But at least he helps clearing the minions on the first wave. Then there is Fuse. But this version of Fuse deals more damage, has a better buff, but he needs to inherit Submachine Gun from the first Premium Fuse style. So then on the second turn he uses Air Support. It's a fast attack that will increase the damage of the other characters. So that allows him to be useful even through this attack is AoE. After this number of characters we have some others. And they may not be as strong as those, but they can also work. Polka is extremely powerful, but he brings some Air Engine to the table. That is because Scatter Explosions is insanely strong. The boss is weak to heat. But he may go first, he may attack the minions before attack the boss. But even then, uh, on turn 2, he can just do so much damage against the boss that he is extremely powerful. Then we have uh, Emilia, the original one. If you don't have the newest one, you can use this. You have to do a trick. You have to get Sweet Trap to 13 and Random Shot to 7. 
So that she goes first using AoE and then she goes for Sweet Trap against the boss. This also works, has a lower damage output, but if you don't have the newest one, use this immediately as well. Then we have the original Fuse without the newest one. We can just go with Proton Rocket first. It is not a full AoE, but he follows up with Submachine Gun. The enemies can even be confused. Uh, he will not do as much damage as the newest Fuse, but because he attacks two times, it's still okay. And then on turn two, he will just use Proton Rocket again. Then we have Jorg. I still don't have this guy trained, but <laughs> he also works. Uh, just fully awaken final strike to 10 BP. He will use this on turn one. Therese can be used as well, but she is only for the minions because she will just use Heart Seeker on the boss, and the boss is extremely resistant to Pierce. I leave her here because it's actually Mac that I wanted to present, but I still don't have Mac. Now let's talk about the helpers. I will not be discussing all helpers because I may not have all of them. One of them that I don't have is Mirian, and then I also don't have Professor, they can also work. Blunt and Heat works here. So the first one is Genie. We can use Genie by inheriting Seismic Strike from her Christmas style, and then on turn 2 she can train Mountain Splitter. It will help kill the box uh, very easily because it's very strong attack. We also have a double S club now. Thomas can open with Petra Delta, he can even petrify the, the enemies and then on turn 2 he uses Hyper Gravity. He does not need Inheritance. He works, you can train the skills if you have him. Bunny, a very old style, can open with Stun Shot. You can even leave this on 8 and then increase Habit Trick to 11. So she will attack with single target on turn 2. Then there's Mei Ling. Mei Ling can just open with Solar Wind on 8 VP, and then she can use Solar Shot on 11, so she will use this against the boss on turn 2. Blue is similar. He can uh, use Solar Wind by Inheritance and then Storm Burst on 11, so that he uses this on turn 2. Let's check some more. We can also use T260G. While not as strong as the newest blunt users, he can also open with stun shot and then on turn 2 you can train his pop knight. It's an AoE attack, but yeah, at least we can train it here. Nora is similar, she can open with seismic strike by inheritance and then she can train earth shaker that will be very strong as a boss. Sophia can also get seismic strike, I think it comes from her S Christmas style and then she can train either twin strike or grand slam. Ren can just keep using Wild Rest, or you can use Wild Rest on turn 1, and then Triple Dragon on turn 2, by increasing Triple Dragon to 11. Kong Bing is another case, he's interesting because it's finally easy to use him. You can go with Firestorm and increase on Flare. There is also Sierra. He was a freestyle, also easy to use, you can open with Stone Shower, but you have to awaken this to at least 10, and then he can train Hyper Gravity. Mayor can be trained in here as well, you can attack with Red King first and then multi-directional strike. Original Kaiser can also be trained here, you can inherit Punishing Palm on 9 and then uh, keep Real Phoenix on 13, so he will use Real Phoenix on turn 2. Then Original Azami can also be used, she's very strong for this because she opens with Punishing Palm and then she uses Guan Yu. Similar characters with similar skills will also work, I will not be listing all of them because well, there's too many. So now I'll be doing some runs and you guys will be able to check how it works. Okay, let's start with one of my favorite formations here. Emilia and Rofus. They rock. I am also using Fuse, but like I said, it's a kind of an overkill, but I just wanted to start with them so you can see how strong they are here. Yeah, this is overkill. We kill all the minions very fast. And then the ones that I'm training here are Madeline, and T260G. They do not contribute to damage here, they are just here for training. As you can even see, they barely do damage. And now on turn 2, we have Fuse using air support. I have to train the skill. And that will really help me. Yeah, we even got a level up. I don't know if... Uh, yeah, Gun and Blade. The media won't even have to attack. We can even use the second media without having to worry about inheritance. So strong. But like I said, you really 
don't need three main attackers. You can even use Chichu 60G as a damage dealer. It will also work with the setup. I'm training two characters here, Galahad and the other guy that I don't even remember the name. Deadly Pierce formation, again, it's a very powerful one. Also, I forgot to get this specific turn 2 skill on Teacher 60G. Oh no, that was a counter. <laughs> yeah, I forget that he counters. Yeah, he even got a level up. Pop Knight. Nice. And this is a variation of that strategy. Instead of using Polka, I'm using Barthelemy. Instead of using Emilio or Fuse, I am using Rofus. And instead of using Red, I am using the original Kaiser. Although he does way less damage. But it may still be enough. If you don't have enough power, you should just get someone to use an AoE attack. Yeah, the good thing is that Bart will help because on turn 2 he still uses AoE. Maybe your helpers will help more if they use AoE. Here in this case was Tatiana and Sofia. Yes. It's your turn 2. You can also go with the full mage setup, but I don't recommend because they usually have very low endurance and they may die easily. And if you do that, place Barthelemy and Polka in the back lines because I want Polka to use his attack later and I also want a better damage with Barthelemy. Mart is probably dead. As you can see, they died way faster. There's more inconsistency by using mages. At least fully mages, but... But it may still work, especially because of Polka. And the problem is that Mei Ling will not attack. She will just heal. If no someone needs a healing, she will heal. Yeah, in this scenario, we didn't finish in two turns. And one last strategy is kind of just for fun, but I wanted to show as well. You can use Rapid Stream with five martial artists that can produce AoE damage. So Punishing Palm, Wild Arrest with Rain. There is also Punishing Palm with Cat, Leonid, <laughs> and Red uses Punishing Combo. Red is the one that really helps here because the other ones are being trained. They're not as strong. But they will also evade many attacks from the boss. Also, the boss does mostly blunt damage. That's also good to use helmets in this fight. Kinda too late to say that on the end of the video. But look, everyone is training. Yeah, Guan Yu. I have to train this skill. You see? It's still working. And that's it guys, I hope you, this video can help you, this, this event will run for a lot of time, you can get many status with your characters, I will probably get as much as I can, and also train some turn 2 skills with most of my characters. Thank you so much for watching this video, if you want to support the channel, you can use the links in the description of the video, and we'll see each other on the next one. Bye.